defense feeds off of the energy and emotion of the Beaver Stadium crowd. Two outstanding linebackers are at the center of this defense. Penn State is the only school with two Butkus Award semifinalists given to the nation's best linebacker. Michael Motti and Gerald Hodges are both leaders of the Nittany Lion defense and are two great representatives of linebacker U, led by position coach Ron Vanderlinden. The linebackers are the quarterback of the defense. They set the front, they put us in the right defense, often make the right checks. Tripped up and down he goes, Michael Motti! When Mike came to Penn State from day one, uh, you know, he worked himself into the rotation and, and was a player. Mike brings tremendous passion to the linebacker position, as does Gerald Hodges. Really, it came down to where could I go to, to really become the best at my position, the best at my craft, which is linebacker. Really, all signs pointed to Coach Vanderlinden. When I recruited Gerald, I saw a tremendous raw talent. It became evident when he came here that linebacker was in his future. I actually played safety and quarterback in high school. I guess he must have seen like potential size, and I guess that was what he meant by he seemed linebacker in the near future. Hodges makes a spectacular play in space. He and I have worked together to take that skill and, and tools and toughness that Gerald came with and refine it into a talented uh, linebacker who did all the right things at all the right times. Hodges jumped it. Playing years prior, you know, the great leaders we had, linebacker leaders, you know, like Sean Lee and like Navarro Bowman, Josh Hall, you know, those guys, Paul Pelesny and those guys. There's about seven or eight guys in the National Football League right now that played linebacker here at Penn State that played for Ron. You look into the NFL and you see the kind of guys that he's coached and I think that, you know, they've taken the fundamentals that, that he used and they've carried it over into the NFL. I think that's a lot of fundamental basic learning under Coach Vanderlinden. Coming out of high school, I had the opportunity to recruit Glenn as well. He is great at shedding blockers, and he'll play the last play of the game as well as he played the first play, and that's a great trait for any football player. Mike Hall has all the, the skills and the talent and the tools to become a, a, a terrific football player. Intercepted by Mike Hall. He's got the toughness, he's got the size, the acceleration, the speed, coverage skills, the awareness. I've learned so much. Uh, about playing linebacker from him. He's great on the fundamentals of football, also how to read the linemen, just always being at the right spot at the right time. Fumbles the football, Hull comes out of it, 40, 50. Mike Hull blocked it, touchdown, Penn State! And since 2006, we've got eight young men who are playing in the NFL. And I might add that all eight have their degree. It's a great university. It's a great academic institution. We have recruited here both just students in general and football players that value education, that getting a degree is monumentally important to everybody on our football program, evidenced by the fact that our graduation rate last year in the BCS Top 25 was once again number one in the country. Our linebackers are asked to do a lot of things. They have to cover. They have to blitz. Watch my body and down he goes! And they have to defend the run in the box with the best of them. And I'll tell you, Mike Hall gets in there and rips that football out. Which really is going to continue to grow them as linebackers and prepare them for life after Penn State uh, and, and continue to send them off prepared to play at the next level. The tradition of linebacker U continues in the National Football League. From Jack Ham to Greg Buttle to Shane Conlon to LeVar Arrington, Penn State linebackers have achieved greatness at football's highest level. Seven former Penn State linebackers are currently playing important roles on NFL rosters. Sean Lee is in his third season with Dallas. He was having another standout season for the Cowboys before suffering a season-ending toe injury on October 21st. Lee's injury has opened the door to another former Nittany Lion linebacker. Dan Connor is in his fifth year in the NFL. He joined Sean Lee with the Dallas Cowboys this season. After valuable contributions on special teams, Connor is now expected to step into Lee's starting role in Dallas. Paul Puzlesny is in his sixth NFL season, including his second year with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Puzlesny continues to lead the Jags in tackles and has seven career interceptions. He was known as Derek Wake at Penn State. Cameron Wake has now become a Pro Bowl starter with the Miami Dolphins. 
After two seasons in the Canadian Football League, he signed with the Dolphins and has become one of the premier pass rushers in the NFL. Tim Shaw is in his seventh NFL season and his third with the Tennessee Titans, where he's the special teams captain. He was a Pro Bowl alternate in 2010 on special teams. Josh Hall has gone from walk-on to the NFL. Hall is in his third season with the St. Louis Rams. Navarro Bowman is in his third season with the San Francisco 49ers. In 2011, he stepped into the starting lineup and was named first team NFL All-Pro.